Thanks. Uh, U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy joining us this morning to tell what's been happening and keeping him busy in Washington, D.C. First, we want to talk about, first of all, thank you for joining me early this morning. Thank Senator. you, Dominique. Good to be with you. All right. The, the Arklatex is a big military town and has been. And um, has any money been carved out for Barksdale? Absolutely. So there's $128 million that is coming to Barksdale. Wow. About $112 million of that is for a weapons generation facility. Hmm. But another portion of that is the support the airmen and their families. Uh, I've learned when I go out there, it's mm -hmm. essential. You, those airmen have to be cared for. Mm -hmm. And so this will be for better medical facilities, be better dormitory uh, facilities, better child care. Um, so I'm committed to Barksdale because I'm committed to the defense of the United States of America. Fantastic. Always talking about infrastructure. Are there any projects in North Louisiana? Um, as you know, is coming into North Louisiana infrastructure. The roads are bumpy, things like that. There is a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, there's $500,000 coming to do a planning study to deepen the J. Bennett Johnston waterway to 12 feet. Uh, as you know, the funding has come and now has to be deployed for the I-49 North. There's been a lot of progress made for an I-20 rail system connecting Dallas with Atlanta. And so someone could live in Shreveport or Bossier, could commute to Dallas and come back, or someone in Dallas coming to, Sh coming to Shreveport, Bossier, and they could commute back and forth and not have to move one place to the other. But how long does that take? Because we need it. Yeah, so I think that will actually occur with, uh, within the next year and a half. I, I, I'm cautiously optimistic it could mm -hmm. happen, but there's been progress on all that. And I spoke to Mayor Arsenault some time ago about there's money to help fix Shreveport's sewer and water system. Mm -hmm. One of my memories, one of my pictures of Shreveport is the winter storm a year yes. or two ago, and the water burst out and it froze in midair. Mm -hmm. There are dollars to help repair that. And then there's also dollars coming to the state for storm water drainage. Mm -hmm. We get these big storms, it overwhelms our system. We flood. Let's expand our storm water drainage and stop that. Money's coming for that too. All right. Thank you, uh, Senator Cassidy. Also, big one here: prescription drug costs. Sometimes it's eat or buy your medicine. Yes. Yeah, so um, we've already passed a fair number of things that have been signed into law to lower the prescription drug cost. But now we have something uh, to address in the pharmacy benefit managers. Pharmacy benefit managers mm -hmm. (PBMs) are the middlemen between the pharmaceutical company and you. Mm -hmm. They do a good job on some things. They take your money on other things. And so we've passed legislation that will begin to squeeze out that cost, among things, lowering the cost of insulin uh, that would come to the individual. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, there's insulin now that's $25 a dose, and the pharmaceutical companies, won't, the PBMs won't carry that. They carry the one that's $300 a dose. Wow. So we're going to put in the incentive for them to carry the $25 dose, so that's what you pay. Uh, so we're continuing to work on that. How do we lower prescription drugs? And after we do this, we'll do something else. And after we do something else, we'll do something else, mm -hmm. trying to lower the, the cost of drugs for all of us. Yeah, oftentimes it's either eat or take your medicine or pay your bills or take your medicine. Let's talk about what you're doing to prevent the fentanyl poisoning in the crisis. Yeah, all of us, on, uh, all of us know somebody who has either died or is addicted to fentanyl. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, there's some strips that you can put out there that can help people diagnose you know, on their own is this fentanyl or not mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully avoid the fentanyl. Uh, we're also trying to stop the flow of drugs coming into our country mm -hmm. and we're also improving the options for treatment for those who are addicted. In my medical practice for many years in the Louisiana Charity Hospital System, I learned you can overcome addiction. You can come back to a life which is full and whole. Mm -hmm. And so our goal is to remove the temptation and also to help those people survive their addiction, come out of their addiction, and become whole once more. All right, so let's talk about ending surprise medical billing. First of all, what is it and how do you plan to do it? Yeah, surprise medical billing, that is some place where you go and you think the doctor's in network or you think that your visit's in network and you get a bill for hundreds of thousands of dollars afterwards. Mm. And I'm not making that up. Wow. So the surprise medical billing is legislation we passed about a year ago uh, and has now prevented over 12 million surprise medical bills. So, so if you go in uh, for an elective procedure, the doctor has to tell you up front how much it costs. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you go in and it's an emergency, you can uh, be expected to build, be billed your, in, uh, your insurance rates, not some rate that's got no, you know, some incredibly cash rate. Right. Now, the good thing about that is that if you feel as if you've got a surprise medical bill, 
which is inappropriate, there's a phone number you can call uh, for the federal government and they can help investigate. So it's got teeth to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and what it does, it takes the patient out of the middle if there's a fight between the insurance company and the hospital or the doctors. All right, uh, big governor's race coming up here in the state of Louisiana. Who are you endorsing? Yeah, I want to endorse Jeff Landry. You know, it's interesting, when I come to North Louisiana, Jeff is working this, working North Louisiana the hardest. Uh, and uh, there's good candidates up there. I'm friends with them all. Uh, but Jeff is concerned about mental health. He's concerned about infrastructure. He wants to see us take advantage of carbon capture sequestration. Mm -hmm. I think he's got a good agenda. And again, I couldn't help but notice he's working North Louisiana pretty hard. All right, last question. You believe that former President Donald Trump should drop out of the race. That was a big, big uh, piece of information that came out over the weekend. Tell us uh, why you believe yeah, that. Yeah, so there's a Fox News poll that shows that President Trump will lose to former President Trump to uh, President Biden. Now, this is Fox News. I'm a conservative. I'm a Republican. I think that four more years of Joe Biden would be bad for our country. I think we have to beat him. So if we have um, a poll showing that President, former President Trump's going to lose, and this is before his four trials go, it's just going to get worse for him. Now, if, if, if somebody wants President Trump to be the nominee no matter what, I understand that. Uh, but I want to win, and I want to beat Joe Biden. And so I want a candidate who can do that. There, there seems to be a lot of people that rally behind Donald Trump. Yeah, so I think that, that you have to kind of think through it. Uh, do I want to beat Joe Biden? Okay, if I want to beat Joe Biden, then do I want a candidate who can beat Joe Biden? Okay, what does this poll show? It shows that former President Trump loses on Fox News. It's still up there. Okay, is it going to get better or worse for him over the next mm -hmm. however many months? It's going to get worse for him. So if not Trump, do you believe DeSantis? Uh, uh, I haven't endorsed anybody on the presidential. Okay. okay. But I think any of those folks will win, and I think they'll all do a good job. All right. Anything else that you want to add? You know, we are committed to Northwest Louisiana. In a, in, a, in a way in which I want the prosperity of Northwest Louisiana to be fantastic. And whether it's rail, road, bridges, water, or internet, we're gonna to continue to be here to support this region of our state to reach its potential. All right, thank you, U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana. Thank you for joining us this morning. Back in a minute.